the Arduino Uno R4 came out just this moment and there's already some kind of controversy with it. So these are the two new variants, Uno R4 Minima and Uno R4 Wi-Fi, and they do not have the 80 mega 328p that is on the normal ones. This is not even a real Arduino Uno. This is like a clone from a different company. It's called an Uno and when you buy an Uno, no matter from which company, you usually expect this processor. These don't have that. So the AVR specific example codes and the way you code on this processor doesn't directly work on there. Arduino is translating libraries and stuff on there and you can use all the shields on here, but it is a different microcontroller. And the problem is not with the boards. These are great designs. I've already looked over the schematics. This uh, <laughs> LED matrix is kind of neat, but yeah, if you really want to use that, this one even has Wi-Fi on there, USB-C is awesome. So the boards have nothing wrong with them. Great designs. The problem is the name. See, when you have an Arduino Mega, you get a Mega 2560 and you know what you get. So if they make a new one with a different processor that has more capabilities, like this one with the same form factor, so it's pin compatible, they gave it a different name, the Giga. Mega, Giga. Different processor, different applications, same form factor, but different name, so you know this is different. It could have been a lot easier if this was just called Uno32 or similar, because this is a 32-bit platform, this was 8-bit. All the confusion basically comes from the name. Great boards, I will do some projects with them, and see how they perform and stuff. But uh, for now, I think the only valid critic that people have on these boards is the name. It's just not what people expect from an Uno if they're used to AVR programming. But if you're using like the normal Arduino way to do stuff like pin mode, digital write, analog read, these functions, they work perfectly fine. And a lot of libraries have already been translated. I'm in the forums about this. And they are actively working on that. So you can pretty soon expect that all the common libraries uh, Arduino provides also work on these like you would use them on the older one. So it's basically a matter of choice. Do you want to have the 32-bit faster processor or do you want to have the classic 8-bit experience? Whatever you need. If you want to have Wi-Fi, this might be a nice option. Yeah.